Hi guys, today we're going to go over gram staining. Uh, gram staining was developed by Hans Christian Gram. It is one of the most important biological staining processes in microbiology. The stain is a differential stain, which means that we're going to use um, two different colors. Um, and this helps us separate um, all known bacteria into two groups, which is gram negative and gram positive. The gram stain is an um, is a dependent on the construction of the so the bacterial cell walls, um, the peptidoglycan layer, and the cell will either retain or lose um, the first dye, and that will help cause it to be pink or purple. Um, the difference between the two groups, gram positive and gram negative, is gram positive bacteria has a thick peptoglycan layer with no outer lipid membrane, and the gram negative has a thin peptoglycan layer and has um, an outer lipid membrane. Um, before we go through the gram procedure, we need to be sure we have all the necessary materials to perform um, the gram stain. So we're going to have the primary stain, which is a crystal violet. It's a basic dye, and it stains all of the cells um, on your smear uh, purple. And then we have the mordine, or, which is also an iodine. This binds with the crystal violet and forms an insoluble crystal violet iodine complex. The cell the cell um, will remain purple during this step. After that, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna add the decolorizer. The decolorizer is a 95% alcohol and it helps leach the dye and it decolorizes them. So the gram positive cells are still able to retain the dye and um, the mordant complex and remain purple. And then finally, we're gonna have the counter stain, the saffron, and this um, stains the color list or the gram negative um, a pink color. Um, so to start our gram stain on our step one, we're going to prepare a smear. For this pr procedure, we're going to go ahead and use the staph and the phagomonas, and we will view that bacteria at 40 and 100 uh, times on our microscope. The second um, is we're going to apply the stain. We're going to flood the smear with crystal violet, and um, remember that this is a basic dye. This stains all the cells purple and the dye is positively charged. Um, it is attracted to the negative charge of the bacterial cell wall and we'll let this sit for one minute and then rinse with water and um, it'll remove the excess stain. The, sec the third step would be to the apply the more than the, um, <clears throat> the iodine solution. So we'll go ahead, we'll flood that smear again and it will anchor onto the cell wall and we'll let that sit for one minute as well. After that, we're gonna go ahead and rinse and, with water and it'll move all of our excess iodine. Um, step five is our decolorizer. Um, we'll drip decolorizer, which is 80% um, methanol and 20% um, um, acetone. And we'll put that across the slide. We're gonna do this for a very short amount of time. So you should have your water ready. It will be about two to three seconds. Um, this will move the outer membrane of the gram negative bacteria and it'll leach the dye um, out of the gram negative cells causing it to change color. Um, so we're gonna rinse that immediately with um, the water to remove the excess alcohol. Uh, our seventh step is gonna be um, the counter dye, which is the saffron solution. And we'll let that sit on for one minute and the gram negative cell walls will pick that up um, in the dye. Our last step, uh, step eight, is to rinse and dry and we'll go ahead and uh, observe that. Uh, smear that we have prepared. We'll rinse with water to remove any excess stain. We'll blot it dry and observe under the oil immersion. Gram positive bacteria will retain the crystal violet and appear purple under the microscope and our gram negative will appear pink under the microscope. Uh, gram stain is used clinically with a culture of samples uh, from an infected site um, on a patient. And with that, we're able to identify the cause of a bacterial infection. The gram stain will provide preliminary results on whether the bacteria present are, um, on what the bacteria is that is present and the general type, such as the shape and whether they are gram negative or gram positive.